My name is Dr. Momodu Tiyanyasi, specialist in obstetrics and gynecology from the Gambia. I work in one of the biggest provincial rural hospitals in the Gambia as an obstetrics and gynecologist. It is so rather unfortunate that in our country we have a high rate of infertility. Statistically, but it's rather unfortunate that we don't have infertility specialists, we don't have infertility center. We only have one who was just trained the last batch here in, in India and he's the only one presently in our country and we are hoping that if we finish we are going to join him and start to work up and start up a very positive center that will help women in my country. We have a lot of patients. Now the only options that we have been doing to this patient, especially with the obstetrics and gynecology team, we normally treat them empirically based on their symptoms and we give them only chromifen inductions just to watch and see untimely intercourse. But with this training, at least it is going to take us to another level where we can start to help these ladies. Most of these women with infertility problem normally goes to obstetrics and gynecology for checkup and review. So from the investigation, we normally ask them the baseline investigations like to check their hormone profile, to check whether they, they are okay, what is the real problem. If we realize that it is tubal problem, it is always very difficult for us to treat them because there is no specialist, there is no instruments that will help us to do all those, you know, manipulations. But with this training, I'm sure it's going to take us to another level whereby if the government pop in, we can be able to advance the level of training we receive here to help these women who are receiving so many psychological and emotional problems due to fertility cases, which is a very big psychological and emotional torture in them. It is rather unfortunate in our country we don't have that level of treatment because in our setting the government that is not their priority in my country most people are not aware the level of um, advanced treatment in infertility they only know the baseline trial and error method that's what normally happens in my country a lot of women are suffering especially in my country whereby is muslim dominated country whereby the man has the option to choose more than one wife. If the problem lies on the woman, therefore the, pro the woman will suffer psychological, emotional for the rest of her life. They don't have any say in the society. They don't have any voice in the society. They suffer emotionally, psychologically, and socially because of what they cannot say. If they say anything, they are embarrassed. And it is a very, very, very serious challenge. And it's rather unfortunate. Most people think that the problem lies on the woman. And most of the blames are centered on the woman, not knowing that 40 to 50 percent of infertility related problems are men related. And with this training, I'm sure we are going to create an awareness campaign whereby we are going to sensitize women. And it's rather unfortunate again that it's only women who suffer to go for infertility problems. Men thought that they have no problem, they don't have any. As far as they are functioning sexually, they think that's the only solution. Not knowing that you can be good sexually, but your hormones and your sperms are not good. And this is something that is lacking in the you know, ideology of men. And it's making it a very big problem. In my country, we don't have any infertility centers. So most of these problems are dealt by obstetrics and gynecology. Sometimes they succeed, sometimes they fail, based on the level of the problem. Sometimes if the level is just maybe unexplained infertility, it can be corrected by giving extra hormonal therapy. But if the problem is anatomical problem, it is rather unfortunate that it is a level whereby we cannot do much because of there are no many instrument there is no fertility center to take up these challenges i can say we are the luckiest to be chosen under the umbrella of mark foundation mark more than a more i consider myself lucky to be a beneficiary of this training it is only one who got this type of training i think he graduated from the last part so we are i am the second in my whole country Women are suffering psychologically, emotionally, and they need also to be heard. They have a voice 
you know, to, to the community and the government has a responsibility to make sure that they receive the best treatment they can. My expectations when I was coming, my level of understanding about infertility was average. But when I came here with the level of training I received here, they started it from the anatomical part of it physiology because before you understand the problem you must understand the anatomy and the physiology how it works if you know how the body works you will be able to know where the problem lies so i've definitely achieved a lot in this short time of period from the level of expertise i received the training is excellent they have dealt it accordingly level by level and it's really a great achievement in my life and I'm ready to take this level back home and advance because you don't take, you don't, you know, they say, at the same say, teach him not how to eat fish, but how to catch fish. I'm told Mark has given me an idea how to catch fish and not to eat fish so that I will be able to take this level back home and also train others so that the understanding and the treatment can be achieved and women will go home with a happy smile. First of all, when we came, they started with the anatomical part of the system. That the, the, the female and male reproductive systems. And from there, the pathological and the physiology, how it works. And there, what are the problems that causes infertility? We have dealt it from level one up to the last level. And how to tackle this infertility problem was also then from like we are, what are the what is IUI that is intrauterine insemination what how can you do it what are the indication for doing this we have done all this and what is IVA which is in vitro fertilization and ICSI intracytoplasmic sperm injection these are all ideas which we are not you know which was lacking in my practice then but now i have realized beyond that level and i'm ready to take it to another level so i'm very grateful to mark foundation and milan facility training center for the knowledge they have inculcated in me they have really cemented a very strong idea about what is infertility what can be done and what can be achieved and how can you and the above all is the counseling part of it. They have taught me how to counsel women, not only women, but both couples are very important in terms of fertility treatment. But before, we normally treat only women, not knowing that men also play a vital role in terms of treatment. In order to receive a better outcome in treatment of infertility, both partners should be available for the treatment. Uh, to be honest, this thing could have not been achieved without uh, the support of Mark Foundation under the leadership of Dr. Rasha. She has been very instrumental for us to achieve these things. Mark More Than a Mother is uh, an initiative under the umbrella of Mark Foundation under the leadership of Dr. Rasha. To be honest, we are very grateful to what Dr. Rasha has been doing to make sure that women in Africa are part of the society. Women in Africa have a voice in this society. Women in Africa have an offspring that will inherit them. That is all the leadership quality that we have seen under the umbrella of Mark Foundation. And to be honest, it's a very, very, very great achievement in my life, not only to myself, to my country, to my community, to my society and to my family. So to be honest, I'm very grateful to Mark Foundation.